What's going on guys, Christian here and today I'm going to be showing you how to open up your NAT type on Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. It shouldn't be a super difficult process, so we're going to hop right into it. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go find the brand and model of your router. Um, once you get that, go ahead and write down on a piece of paper, take a picture of it, and then come back to this video and we're going to need that to look up because we're going to have to do some port forwarding on your router specifically. So once you get that information, the first thing that we actually need to do here is get your computer onto a static IP address. In order to do that, you can either do it manually or you can just follow, use this program here and it'll do it for you automatically. So we're just gonna use the automatic way from portforward.com, which makes it a lot easier. So you can go ahead and click the link down below and it'll take you to the following page where it'll automatically download. If it doesn't, again, you can click here and that'll start the download. So you just hit save and install that on your computer. So once that is installed, then you should now have Port Forward Utilities installed on your computer. So we're going to go ahead and run that. And once we get that running, um, we can just go into the trial version and hit OK. Um, for what we're doing, that's all we need. And you'll see a big button saying static IP address. So this one we are able to do for free without purchasing. So go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, mine is currently static. Yours is gonna be dynamic. So all you have to do to fix that is just click on this box here where it says make it static and just keep all the defaults and then hit okay. And that will automatically switch your IP address over to static so that once you apply these port forwards onto your computer IP address, it will stay exactly the same and you're not gonna lose that open NAT type whenever you restart your computer. So that's the first step and then we are gonna go ahead and hop into the next one which will be smashing that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. So if you guys could do that, that would be awesome and then we could hop right back into the next step. All right, so then we are gonna go ahead and go to the search bar and type CMD to open up the command prompt. Once you're in here, you can go ahead and type in ipconfig and go ahead and hit enter. So once you get here, you're just going to go ahead and look at the numbers on your default gateway and then you're going to go ahead and open up an internet browser and take that number and type it into the top. So once you do that, you can go ahead and hit enter and this screen is going to look different depending on your router. So this is where it's going to get slightly different but um, there's this website here. If you go to this website, which is portforward.com, um, you can look up your router in the search bar or um, find it down here. So we're just gonna go ahead and type in the model of mine and pw 10 And when you go ahead and hit enter, you can go right through here and you can see um, this brings up my model number port forwarding steps. So you can just go ahead and click in that so that we can get on the same page. Essentially, we just want to all get to the page that looks like this with NAT. So as you can see here, um, mine's asking for an access code. Yours might ask for that depending on your model number again. So you might need to get that off your router. So you just go ahead and put that in and then hit continue. And then here we are to the NAT slash gaming page. So for you that might say port forwarding, um, just really depends on your model again. Um, but what we're gonna have to do is add in the following ports um, in order to open them up for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. So once you get in here, you're just gonna need to create, you can see I created uh, all of these COD one through six tabs and that opens up all of the following ports. So when you're typing in the ports that you need to put in, um, you're just gonna need to put all of these in separately as different rows, either under TCP UDP or TCP or just UDP. Um, and then once you add that in, you just assign it to a device. So um, 
as you can see here for mine, I had COD1 created with TCP slash UDP 3074, and then that popped up in my service, so I selected it, and then I just picked the device that had it. So as you can see here, we have Christian PC selected, which is my computer. And once I add that, that means it'll open up the port on just that device. So if you are playing on Xbox, you're just going to go ahead and select your Xbox as the device. If you're playing on PlayStation, you're going to go ahead and pick PlayStation as your device. Or if you're like me, playing on PC, you're just going to go ahead and pick the PC as your device. As long as you have all of these ports open, it should then open that up for you, no problem. So then, once you get those opened up, you can go ahead and launch up your Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, and your NAT type should now say open. So that is all the steps that we have for you guys today. If you have any questions, you can throw them in the comments down below. Either I'll get back to you, or maybe somebody else watching the video can help answer your question. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit subscribe down below and give the video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you next time.